what made you want to make a film like this? Um, I think it was, I'd made another film before this that was kind of big and loud and, and, and had a lot of action going on in it, and, and that was fun. It was really fun. But I um, wanted to do something afterwards that was very different, and um, you know, was approached to do an uh, American version of, uh, of this Mexican film. You know, it came out in 2010, and um, I just loved kind of the, the slow burn aspect to it. I loved the, the pace. I loved the, what it was doing thematically. I thought it was really cool. You know, it has a lot of interesting things to do with tradition and religion, and thought, you know, this is kind of exactly what I want to do, like really quiet, simmering, sort of tight, claustrophobic movie, and, uh, um, you know, have just a movie of cre girls whispering creepily for the entire film. So, um, so yeah, we, we, we took the original and basically treated it as a jumping off point and made a very different movie, but um, that's who we are, we are. So, uh, what, some of, what are some of the challenges that you faced while you were uh, filming? Um, it's a... Um, you know, it's an ambitious film for what we're doing. I think stylistically we tried to go out and make a really tight sort of classical film. And it's actually a little harder than I would expect with, with when, when you have limited budget and limited schedule. You know, it's a lot easier, I think, to be able to go out and sort of go handheld and, and uh, sort of wing it and treat things naturally. And that's what we've done for the last two films. We were able to make, you know, some some expensive looking movies for not a lot of money and, and yeah. quickly so it was tougher this time to do that um it was also uh, the whole the almost half of the movie takes place during a torrential downpour and, and it never rained for the 25 days that we were there never once so we had to always fake rain with garden hoses and that sort of thing and just any any trick in the book to to, to make rain work so that's tough when you're trying to do emotional scenes and, and also spray actresses down with a garden hose <laughs> so, so uh are there any uh, future projects in the works? Any? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this comes out. Um, this comes out October 11th. It just opened in, in, in New York um, on, on the 27th. Uh, it comes out on the 11th, and then I go back to New York and, and I'm editing a film called Cold in July that I shot this summer, um, starring Michael C. Hall and Sam Shepard and uh, Don Johnson, and a uh, lovely actress named Vanessa Shaw and. Uh, very different movie. It's like a kind of an '80s revenge thriller, or like a southern noir. Um, kind of a lot of things rolled into one. It's based on a book by a great author named Joe Lansdale, and uh, that should be coming out hopefully uh, early to mid next year. Okay. So, is there anybody in particular that you would uh, really like to work with in the future? Um, lots of people. I would love to work with Sissy Spacek. She's one of my favorite actresses, and. Um, I'd love to work with her one day. Um, that guy Joel Edgerton, I think, is really great. You know, kind of upcoming guy. I think he's really great, um, and I think he's got. Hopefully, he doesn't just do kind of dumbed down action movies for the rest of his career. Hopefully, he keeps breaking up and doing some interesting stuff. Um, I don't know. It's it's um, it's it's cool. I've gotten to work with really good people and, and catch them at really interesting times. You know, I worked with Kelly McGillis in this and in, in my last film, and you know, she was a kind of big time star in the 80s and it's actually great when you catch her now because I think she's kind of been through so much that now she's just happy to work and you know it's 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 interesting and same thing Don Johnson in this last film catch him you know as one of the biggest stars in the world for a long time and then you catch him and, and he's just at a point where he's really comfortable with himself and he's as good an actor as ever um, so it's cool it's cool to catch people like that so I don't even know what the what the next version of that would be you know. so what, what got you into film? What made you want to be a director? I, I started off, I wanted to do special effects. I was really into special effects. I wanted to do creatures and demons and all kinds of stuff, you know, and, and uh, from maybe 12 years old. I loved horror movies. And I started watching horror movies more and more to sort of get a sense of what kind of effects were out there and what people were doing. And um, the more I watched them, and then I started shooting little home movies and making excuses to, you know, make little creature effects and stuff. And, um, as I did it, I got more and more into the storytelling of it and the camera, and I became much more aware of all the things that go into making a film. And um, at some point, I saw Army of Darkness, the Sam Raimi film, and the whole Evil Dead trilogy, and I was just blown away because it was really just kind of what we were doing, but it was someone taking that to the nth degree and making their own film out in the, in the middle of the woods and, and uh, you know, having fun exploring the, you know, the art of movie making, having fun with, you know, acting and music and the camera and production design, cinematography effects, like all these different things that I never paid attention to before really came into focus and um, kind of decided at that point that, you know, this is what I want to try to do, you know, um, and went to film school for it and, and, and 
studied and spent a long time working on films, then finally got a chance to do that that thing that like kind of first we called it. It was a, it's, it, we shot it in New York City. We shot it in my friend's kitchen, but we called it our backyard movie because we don't have a backyard in New York. <laughs> but we had this one bedroom apartment kitchen. <laughs> so were you you were pretty excited when uh, this this project came out and you were yeah. able to jump on that. Yeah, it's good. It's a, this is our third this is our third film, and it's. Um, you know, it's good because I think we we did one and it kind of slowly caught on. It got a little bit of a cult following. We were able to make something after that that was a little bit bigger, had a bigger, had a bigger exposure, and and has gone on to get a lot of fans. And this was cool to be able to come in and, and feel like we're able to make sort of our own film here. And and you know, we I think we're comfortable with trying different things out, and we were able to explore that this time around. So, um, movie's been really well received, and, and okay. people really love it. And I, I hope. Uh, Hope people turn out and check it out, and encourage people to continue making sort of offbeat genre films. Well, thank yeah. you, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you.